up everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room and today we are going to take a look at the new Epic Attack Dil Dilophosaurus and Velociraptor I was able to find at Walmart last night. Uh, I was actually really excited about finding these because of the raptor av actually having the paint scheme of the Jurassic Park 3 male. So um, let's go ahead and do an unboxing and get looking at them. Alrighty guys, so here we are with our Epic Attack um, Dilophosaur and Velociraptors. Um, I grabbed two of the Velociraptors because um, I'm a mega fan of the way that the raptors look in Jurassic Park 3. I really like the um, color schemes, the everything, and actually my favorite is the male Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor. That's my favorite in the whole franchise, so I definitely had to grab an extra here. But let's actually start off with the Dilophosaurus and take a good look at it. So as you can see here, um, cool box art. It seems like all these at Epic Attack ones have this Carnotaurus render up in here. Um, if you saw in my last video where I got the Epic Attack Carnotaurus. Um, but yeah, nice box art. Of course, I picked the most minty boxes I can find. Because as most of y'all know, I am a mint in box collector. But this thing is just absolutely beautiful. You can see, Let's see if we can get a little close up look at that face. Look at that, awesome. And of course the mouth opens up. It's very cool. And then, we'll close that mouth back. It has its epic damage. Now, I know people were hating on these little buttons because they said it made it seem cheap and kind of like what um, Hasbro did. But actually, now that I have some of these in hand, I think it's actually a really cool feature. The way it lights up actually looks like it's injured and it kind of glows. And then, of course, let me see if I can pull up the scan code for anyone that's interested. Oops, tight. Oh, there we go. So here is, boom, the scan code that any, if anyone is interested. Okay, now let's take a look at the Velociraptor. So as you can see here, wow, this thing is awesome. So same box art as the Dilophosaurus, as you can see here. That back is cool. Now let's see, we take a look, closer look at the actual head sculpt of the Raptor. They did actually a better job on this head sculpt than they did on the Hammond Collection version, which is funny. Um, there goes the mouth. Super, super cool. And then, of course, it has its um, epic attack um, or extreme damage, whatever, whatever you want to call this. It's damage piece. But I actually really like the sound effects on this one. Y'all listen, guys. Now, there was a better sound effect when I was messing with it earlier. But yeah, it's a very cool figure. Very, very cool. And so the real little bit of surprise for y'all guys is that I actually, the reason I bought two is because I'm going to take this one out of the box. So I got my scissors here. Let's free this male raptor and get a really close look at it. Okay, set the box over there. So here we have it. Um, it's got the regular, you know, leg articulations. Um, it's got the little Jurassic World logo on the foot, just like all the others do. And then actually, oh, now you can see on the other side, it's got its little, like, sound box or whatever. I guess that's where the sounds come out. Yeah. But overall, other than uh, minus the um, missing paint down the tail and on the claws... This is a really quality figure um, from Mattel. I'm super impressed. Definitely very happy with this one, guys. Um, and for anyone that's curious, um, I found these at Walmart last night. And they were retailing at $14.97 each. Um, a little more expensive than I figured. I thought they'd be around the $10 or $12 price point. 
but um, I guess everything these days with inflation is getting really expensive. So, you know, what can I expect? I'm not that shocked, but let's get one more closer look at the face and that paint on there. She's really, really pretty. But yeah, I'm really digging this figure. We'll take one more close look at that Dilophosaurus. Sorry, I didn't pull this one out of the box, guys. Maybe if they go on sale, I'll buy another one of these to get out of the box. It is kind of tempting because I really like this one as well. Oh, and then one last thing I forgot, guys, the scan code for this. For anyone that wants to go ahead and scan this in their app before they buy it, or if you haven't been able to find it yet, because I just saw these for the first time literally last night, and I'm going to upload this video today um, right after I'm done shooting it. So, yeah. So guys, this was my review of the new Epic Attack Dilophosaurus and Velociraptor. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe. Um, all the support y'all have been showing me is just making it so much better for me to share all my collection. Um, you know, I have such a huge passion for all this. I know I say this every time, guys, but I really appreciate the support everyone's been showing me. And um, the more support you give me, the more amazing things I'm going to bring to the collection and share with every single one of y'all. So y'all keep supporting me. And thank you for watching the video today. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks, everyone.